Hi, I'm Eva and I'm a senior makeup specialist from Mecca Cosmetica. And this is Ask Mecca. Your beauty questions answered by a Mecca expert. That's me. The question that I'm answering today is what kind of makeup brushes should I have in my bag? Today I'm going to show you how to use each of these brushes in a full look. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the all over buffing brush. It's a really beautiful, dense, um, angled brush. So it's really nice against the surface of your skin. I'm just going to take it through the center of the face and then we're just going to work outwards. And we want to start with less is more. So you can always add more coverage later on. The brush applies the product quite quickly and really effectively. Buffing brushes are great for a really perfected look. A really nice streak-free finish. You cannot mess up a buffing brush. You can also use the flat of the brush to apply more coverage where you want it. Just stamp it in. The foundation I'm applying today is the NARS Sheer Glow, and I'm using the color Deville. And that's foundation done. Next step is concealer. For this one, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Vanish Concealer Brush. I'm going to be taking the concealer under the eyes and then around certain high points of the face. For a concealer brush, I like something that's small, dense and angled nicely so you can get under the eyes. And you don't want to take concealer too close to the eyes, otherwise it's going to crease. Lower and then blend up. I'm also going to take a little bit under the brow, down the nose. The size of the brush really helps me target the concealer where I want it. I'm also going to take a little bit just under my cheekbone. Just to make that area pop. A good concealer should really open up the face. I like to go for one that's about half a shade lighter than my foundation. Today I'm using the LS Fast Concealer, a really beautiful, light reflecting, hydrating concealer. And that's concealer. So now that foundation and concealer are done, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder to set everything. I like to use a small powder brush to get a more targeted application. So that way I'm doing some areas and matte in the right areas. By pressing the powder into the foundation, it fuses the two together and you get a really amazing natural look. I'm using this brush instead of a large powder brush to get a more targeted application. With a smaller powder brush, you're gonna get neater application and it can get into all the little awkward areas. I'm gonna take it around the corner of the nose to get those nostrils. You can really press your powder in to make it last. So I'm gonna do a real press into the skin. You can do a press and roll motion to mimic a powder puff. Ta-da! So by having the right makeup brushes in your makeup bag, you can multitask effectively. So I'm going to be using my foundation brush to contour. For contouring, I'm going to use the same brush as I use for my foundation. So that way I don't need as many brushes and the foundation that's still on my brush will help blend out my contour product. For contouring, I like to look for the pocket of the cheekbone, which is in between your cheekbone and your jaw. It's the deepest point of the face. I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna draw a straight line to the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my brush. Now this one is angled, so you get a really nice blend and it's gonna hug your cheekbone. So I'm gonna take my contour on the top of my forehead and just under the chin. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna use simple strokes just to brush out. Because the brush is really dense, it does all the work for you. And just push that contour into the hairline. And then last but not least, I'm gonna use it just through the eyes, like that. And this is gonna give me a really lovely lift.
contouring. Up next, bronzer. I'm going back in with my double-ended finishing brush. I'm taking my bronzer over the apples of my cheeks, over the nose, and then through the forehead. So I'm using this brush for bronzer to get a nice targeted application over the face. And it's gonna assist my contour in shaping everything. Today, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I like it because it's matte and I naturally have an oily skin type, so it works perfectly for me. For blush, I'm gonna be using the NARS Yachio brush. It's a lovely tapered brush so you can get a really nice sculpted cheek. Placement is really important for blush because it shapes the whole face. And a tapered brush is gonna help us achieve that. For higher cheekbones, I can use the top of the brush to get a really sculpted cheek look. Today, I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. It's a beautiful rosy flush with a gold highlight. I'm gonna take this a little bit on the nose as well to give a sun-kissed look. and then onto the other cheek. This brush is great because it fits the apples of my cheeks perfectly. I always like to give a little smile when I'm applying blush because it highlights the apples of my cheeks for a lovely rosy glow. For lips, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and we're gonna be using a really thin, flat brush to get a really beautiful line on the lips. To clean up that lip line, we're gonna go in with a really flat lip brush, just to get that really nice shape for your lips. We really wanna carve out that lip line. I feel like something's missing, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlight. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Mecca Enlightened Powder. I like to turn my face on an angle and see where the light bounces off, and that's where I'm gonna apply my highlight. And we're gonna be using the other side of our Mecca Cosmetica double-ended finishing brush. Little on the cheek, little on the forehead, down the nose, and over the lip line. I'm using a smaller tapered brush to get that really beautiful blended sculpted cheek. I like to really buff in my highlight because it's a finely milled powder. So we're gonna get a really beautiful, shiny, highlighted cheek. For eyes, I'm gonna be using three different types of brushes. I'm gonna be using a blending, a bullet brush, and an application brush. We're gonna start off with our bullet brush to help shape under the eye and on top. And today we're gonna to be using the Tom Ford Desert Box Palette. I'm using a bullet brush to get tight in towards my lashes and to get a really strong shape around the eye. I'm gonna go in underneath. So this brush is soft enough for under the eye, so you're not gonna get any harsh scratching feelings from this one. And then I'm gonna take it over and around. It looks intense at first, but hold on till the end. Next, I'm gonna go with my Ray Morris blending brush in number 7.5. This is a beautiful, slightly tapered brush, so it's perfect for blending under the eyes, soft enough that it's not gonna cause any irritation. This brush is really fluffy, so it's gonna diffuse any pigment that you put down. We're gonna blend this out quickly and easily. I like to tap the brush before I apply it to get rid of any excess before it goes on the skin. So now that all the shaping's done, I'm gonna use an eyeshader brush by Mecca Cosmetica. It's nice and flat, so we're gonna get a beautiful placement of our shimmer. And then I like to go underneath using the top of the brush Like so.
that's my look finish with my staple brushes that I think everyone should have in their makeup bag. Got another beauty question? Ask Mecca via the comments below. Or why don't you come visit me in store?